Holy moly, this is like the juiciest kale. Look at that. It's so meaty. Okay, ah. listen to that crunch. Daddy, show us the best oh. <laughs> the good life living love feel like the first and 15th for the month uh, i got to live it up yeah for the rest of my life throw it over here i'm rolling both dice i got the green lights i got the whole tight cause i'm feeling i'm feeling i'm feeling so alive up you guys as most of you know we just got home from nearly a month in Costa Rica we hosted two eat move rest retreats we had a week off of downtime in between which served as our much-needed family vacation I got to surf for the first time it was everything I hoped it would be and more so that was a big fear of mine to conquer and now I'm hungry for more so we're gonna be searching for waves I'm not sure where we'll find them so if you guys have any recommendations let us know anyways I just thought I would pop on and answer a much requested question I get from you guys and that is discipline how do you stay so disciplined do I actually consider myself to be a disciplined person how do you stay motivated to eat healthy exercise daily practice mindfulness and spirituality and all those things. I definitely have learned to look at discipline through a different lens. So discipline is like one side of a coin. On the other side is self-love. So discipline and self-love go hand in hand. It's just a shift in perspective. It's the same value, it's just how you look at it. So discipline can sound very rigid and very confined and limiting very strict and harsh. So if you don't like the word discipline, similar to Dusty and I, then just simply flip your coin over and practice self-love instead. So Dusty one time told me this great Will Smith quote, basically him talking to himself in the mirror saying, I love you too much to let you do that. So there are many areas of my life where I could be much more disciplined. Every single day starts the night before for me. So that means I make a to-do list to kind of almost dump my brain so that I can sleep soundly without having all of these ideas and anxieties for tomorrow rattling around in my head because each day has enough anxiety of its own. Why? pour into tomorrow. So I make that list the night before. It helps me to sleep a lot more soundly. And the next morning I get up and usually skincare is where I start. So I like to wash my face, put on my creams and oils and feel all glowy. And sometimes I even do it before I exercise because a lot of times I don't do it if I don't do it first thing in the morning. So I really, really am obsessed with Osea Malibu. You guys know this. I have been using their stuff for years. They're vegan, cruelty-free, seaweed-based. A lot of the products contain ingredients that really help your skin to rejuvenate itself. So being a 30-something mama who spends a lot of time in the sun, I have really enjoyed seeing what it's done for my skin over the years. I love their algae oil. I love the body butter. I love dry brushing. Um, the Hyaluronic C Serum is at the top of my list. I love the Ocean Eyes Eye Roller and the Ocean Cleanser. The Andaria Algae Body Oil is a favorite, favorite of mine. The Anti-Aging Body Balm, which is so smooth and luxurious, and the Body Brush. It's the perfect opportunity to gift something wonderful for your mama bear or for yourself or another loved one for Mother's Day. Click the link below to check it out and also be sure to use my discount code. Be sure to spend wisely because it only works once. So when it comes to self-love in the food realm, that's next up on the list. I always go out and make either a juice or smoothie. Today was green juice. My favorite combo is green juice and a smoothie bowl and fresh fruit. So that's what I did today to offer up some self-love. When it comes to food, the number one thing I always say is don't bring tempting foods into the home. So this will automatically cause you to crave different foods. 
So when you're hungry for chips, if they're not in the house, eventually you'll start craving something like your kale chips or carrots and hummus for that crunchy, savory, salty fix. If you're craving something sugary, then you'll automatically opt for your favorite fruit or fruit smoothie instead, or something like medjool dates, which I always keep on hand for my sweet tooth. I always fuel up with a good healthy breakfast and then exercise. I take Sundays off, Sundays are a day of rest. I find that when I try to go super hard every single day of the week, I always end up burning out and then I'll have several days where they're just not that great of workouts. So instead I try to let my body rest. So then I find that after a rest day, I come back rearing and ready and I have much better workouts from there on out. So whether you take one day off or two days off or you do something like walking or yoga as like an active recovery in between, that's how I recommend staying on track with fitness. Three other things that help me with fitness are at-home workouts, guided workouts, and group workouts. So I used to work at a studio where I led group fitness and the energy was just unreal and I always took classes there as well and there's something about staying accountable and also working side by side with others that really, really helps. Now that I'm a mom of two, I've just found that it's a lot easier and more efficient for me to just go out in the garage gym, work out from home for 45 minutes, the kids can play side beside me and I do some type of guided workout. So. We actually have many on our channel and I did one of mine today and it was perfect. It was such a great workout. I also love a couple of others, Caroline Gervin. The thing I love about hers is this is another thing that keeps me motivated. Not only are they guided workouts, but she has challenges. So it'll be like a program that lasts 30 days or 40 days. So every day, like I don't have to get on and browse and browse and browse to find one. I just follow the sequence and I know what body parts to work each day and there's an end and it's just so much fun. That being said, with challenges, I think another thing that helps with staying on track is to rather than setting goals, practice building habits. Build habits rather than setting goals. How do I start to build in habits that will eventually get me further rather than get me to end goal where at which point if you reach the goal, then after that it's kind of like, well, now what? So rather than focusing on the end goal or result, focus on the process. Another important tip that has helped me a lot is don't wait for motivation to strike. So there are days where we feel gung-ho and we wanna do it all and be it all and have it all and we really feel like we're on fire, but mo more often than not, we're either just baseline or sometimes in the hole. Mood follows action. Just because you're not in the mood to work out doesn't mean don't work out, or just because you're not in the mood to eat healthy doesn't mean splurge on junk food. It means carry yourself through the motions and your body and mind will follow. So don't wait until you feel motivated. Continue to bring your body and your mind and your mood will follow. Another one is there is no need to reinvent the wheel. So when it comes to exercise and you're figuring out how to get this perfect chiseled physique or just how to lose a couple pounds or maybe a lot of weight, rather than trying to figure out how to get the right equipment or the right shoes or the right garment, just do what moves you. So do what you love, and that's the best place to start because that's something that you're going to be able to sustain long term. Keep it simple when it comes to eating as well. You don't have to make these gourmet, raw vegan meals. Rather than that, just focus on picking your favorite fruit, something that you find the most palatable, and have a mono meal of it or making a simple salad and rather than trying to come up with a crazy 10 ingredient salad dressing, just opt for something like whipped avocado like I always do on my salads with some coconut aminos. So keep things simple, especially when you're getting started because again, that's going to be sustainable long term. Another one is having multiple backup plans. So first and foremost, make sure you have a backup plan and if not one, make sure you have multiple. So for us traveling home from Costa Rica, I was already planning on the shuttle ride to the airport. Okay, what are we gonna eat at the airport? So we made sure to eat a good, healthy, hearty rice and beans dish at the airport. And we also made sure we had some bars and other healthy, snacky, dry goods for the flight. So that kept us carried over. 
And then when we landed, I already was on my phone and I did a Google search and lo and behold, there was a vegan restaurant open till 11 p.m. So we made a bolt for it, got some like Buddha bowls and even smoothies at 10.30 p.m. on a Sunday night. So always have your plans in advance and have multiple backup plans. Another important thing is to treat yourself or let yourself relax a little bit sometimes. So Dusty and I do have date nights sometimes and that means ordering a dish at a fancy restaurant that may contain salt, sugar, and oil, which we do try to minimize or avoid completely. So from time to time, just like taking a day off from workouts, I think it's also beneficial to treat yourself with food. And that being said, I'm definitely not really a fan of the quote, everything in moderation, because I feel like that's a very slippery slope. So one person's moderation with alcohol, for example, is another person's alcoholism. So one person says, oh, I only have three beers every night just to relax. And the other person says, oh, I drink wine at weddings. Like those are two different moderations for two different people. So I feel like that can be a very tricky thing to tell yourself um, because moderation beca becomes more and more of a problem if you continue, continue to do things moderately. I just always like to tell myself how you do anything is how you do everything. So rather than cutting corners and always being moderate, do your best to just always be your best. And on that token, there are gonna be times when you fail and fall and slip up. And this is where self-love comes in and not just self-love, but unconditional love. So we learned a lot about unconditional love on the retreat and forgiveness. So the two go hand in hand. And this comes in with forgiving mom or dad for however they didn't raise you just perfectly growing up because as an adult, you have to take ownership for your own happiness and for your own outcomes. So forgiving loved ones and friends who have hurt you or wronged you, but even more importantly, learning self-forgiveness because once you forgive yourself for your small slip ups and your big massive hurts and hang ups from the past, you're better able to unconditionally love yourself. So conditional love is when you say, I'll be happy or I'll love myself when I weigh this amount or when I am raw vegan or this or that, as opposed to I love myself now and I'm loving myself through the process and I love myself when I mess up. That is so huge and so important. And a lot of times I'm just not good at it. I will admit this is where I am not a disciplined person. I have zero discipline when it comes to self-forgiveness, unconditional love, and just self-confidence, honestly. I'm always so worried about what people think of me and I just really wanna make sure that I say things the right way and come off the right way and being a shy, quiet person, it can be difficult at times for me to really verbalize and vocalize just how much I am, for example, indebted to everyone on our retreat and so thankful for each and every one of them. They were so incredible, it was just like, sometimes it's hard for me to really verbalize that because I'm just so reserved and unsure. And I think a lot of that might stem from my own conditional love for self. So where I am disciplined with eating clean, moving regularly and getting adequate rest, there are still areas where I could really, really focus more on um, just loving myself and forgiving myself in order to be better loved and I feel like when I trust that I fully unconditionally love myself I will receive more of that from others really focus on areas where you can forgive and unconditionally love yourself through the process even when you slip up one way to do this is to just simply do the inside work so the inside work would be things like meditation mindfulness trauma healing therapy journaling prayer and spirituality and giving thanks to God our creator, to Jesus um, who died for our sins, all of these things. It's just really, really important to focus in on these things. It'll help you so tremendously. It's something that I struggle with from time to time, especially being a busy mom of two, but you can either go within or you can be without. So the opposite of going within is going without. If you're living outside, you're seeking money and things and it leaves you without. So focus on going within rather than without. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know which self-love and discipline tip helped you out the most. 
And if you have any other tips or tricks for our friends and followers here, be sure to leave them in the comments as well. Make sure you subscribe to the Eat, Move, Rest family. We would love to have you stick around and enjoy more of our videos. We'll have an Eat, Move, Rest Costa Rica retreat recap coming very soon. So for any of you who attended or who would like to attend, be sure to click below to get more info on Eat, Move, Rest retreats. Until next time, eat, move, rest, and love yourself your best. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.